Hi and welcome to Tech Nation TV. My name is Rusty G, and in this episode, we're going to be looking at the Galaxy Note 5. I've got four different cases from Amazon. Let's take a look. Alright guys, I did an unboxing video, uh, but it got lost. And right now I'm actually scanning the SD card to figure out what happened because I, I don't know. I actually unboxed this, but this is my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 uh, with T-Mobile uh, and Wi-Fi calling. Uh, so I love it. So uh, as you see there, I've already got it unboxed and everything, and I've already got all the cases that I wanted. And this is going to kind of mirror close to what I did with the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, uh, but uh, just a couple different cases. So as you see, I got the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 for T-Mobile. Uh, I got four different cases from Amazon. If you have any sense about yourself when it comes to cases, don't buy them from your carrier. Do not buy them from your carrier. Do not buy them from your carrier. Either buy direct if you can get a deal somehow through deals websites, eBay, Craigslist, whatever, or Amazon. Amazon has a great place for getting cases for your phones. All of them are great. One big name that you're going to see, especially for Samsung devices, is Spigen. And I went with Spigen again. I went with Spigen last time for the Galaxy S6 Edge. But I'll show you a few of them. I made some decisions here. I got the Spigen Rugged Capsule Case. It's basically just a TPU rubber case uh, that just kind of form fits the phone and goes around the edges. Not much for protection. It's just basically a, a, a rubber condom, if you would say. Uh, so that's the first one. Then I kind of stepped up and went with the Varus. This is kind of like the Galaxy S6 Edge case that I got, where you've got a TPU back, and then you've actually got a case or a banding around the outside that actually takes care of your corners. I've actually been using this one for the last week or so, so I'll show you a little bit more on that one. The other two I got are basically very similar. The only difference is a little bit of design choice and what they did. But they're both, this one is the iBlazing case. Um, this is uh, the Note 5 Armor Box White, and I'll show that to you real quick. Pull that out. This one does not come with a belt clip. The other one that I'm about to show you, the Unicorn Beetle, does come with a belt clip. Uh, the reason why I got this one was because of, just like most of them that are like this, screen protector. There's actually a screen protector built into this thing. Uh, you got your rubber corners here. You got your white casing for the back. This comes in multiple different colors. You can get it in blue, green, pink. Uh, don't quote me on that, but basically I'll, I'll show you all that right there. Uh, but this is that case right there. And basically it's just kind of a, you know, a holder for your phone. Really rugged, real, you know, takes care of the phone. So it's kind of a step up from the Varus. And then I got the Unicorn, Unicorn Beetle Pro. And I really like the original Unicorn Beetle that I got for my Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. So I continued and went ahead and got the white one for my Note 5. And as you know before, comes with all the little, you know, click here to watch your installation video. Let us know if you like it or not. Comes with a belt clip. This is the one extra thing that it comes with. So you've got the belt clip built in, kind of like an OtterBox case. Uh, and you can see there, plastic white back with a gray mix instead of the black the, with the eye blazing. Uh, and same thing here, you just pop it out. And same thing on this one, actually has a screen protector on this one. So there's very little differences between these two cases. It's really, this one's actually a little bit thinner uh, and a little bit lighter. This one's a little bit heavier duty, a little bit thicker black case versus gray case. Uh, you've got the same pieces here on the bottom that actually flip out and cover up uh, your USB and your microphone or and or uh, headset uh, jack there at the bottom. And then you've got a space for your pen. So uh, let's take a look at these up close and see what they look like on the phone. All right, guys, so we're looking up close at these phones. Again, we've got the Spigen Rugged Capsule Case Note 5 uh, here on the left. Again, just basically a rubber case. Uh, the Varus is basically a step up only because it has the metal banding on the outside. I've actually been using this case uh, for about a week now, and I actually love this case just for the thinness of it, and I'll show you here in a second. Uh, again, there's the up close of the eye blazing case. Uh, and then there is the Unicorn Beetle case. So let's take a look at these individually. So let's take a look at the Spigen case here. Open this guy up. And kind of throw everything off the side here. And you'll see here, this actually has a carbon fiber accent piece on the inside. Kind of gives it a uh, neat little uh, look. And hopefully those lights are showing you that. 
uh, you'll see there, there at the top, and then there at the bottom. And it's just a flimsy TPU cover cover uh, case. Uh, you'll see the design there on the inside. This is supposed to help if an impact, uh, this spreads out the actual, uh, whenever it hits a corner, that it actually should spread out some of that impact. And as you see here, I'll take the Note 5, and it should just pop right in here. Yep. And that's basically all you're looking at there for that case. Not, oh, let me cover up that corner. Not much for uh, uh, for protection for serious falls, uh, which really you shouldn't let this phone be taking serious serious falls anyway. Uh, but it's gonna it's gonna protect everything that you do uh, as far as you know at your office, at your desk, or whatever. If you're carrying around, you're looking for something really light, really thin. Don't need n uh, any bulk added to your phone. Uh, so this actually feels pretty good. It's pretty smooth here on the back. Um, you've got the Spigen logo there if you see that right there uh, but pretty smooth actually feels pretty good in the hand makes the phone you know feel like it's it's gonna be okay so uh, let's move on to the next one we're gonna look at the Varus here and let me remove this one right here again most of these cases are anywhere between 10 to 20 dollars I think one of them was like 16.95 one of them maybe 21.95 I forget specifically uh, don't hold me to these but I'll hopefully put up graphics as I'm talking so that you can actually see the prices uh, here is the Varus, uh, and we'll remove that there, throw that off to the side, and they've got a little fake uh, in here. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And again, right here, uh, same thing, still a TPU inside, but with not, not so much a metal banding, but more of a hard plastic banding. Uh, you'll see their high pro shield. Uh, same thing, covers up your corners, except for obviously where the pin will come out. And as you roll around here, you've got the texturized buttons. Uh, and this does come out separately if you wanted to. Uh, I'd, I'd usually just leave those in just like that and slide the phone in the case just like that. Same thing here. They have a design on the inside to help brace the impact if it were to fall, uh, which, again, you really shouldn't be letting it fall. But one thing I do like about this case and the reason why I've had it on for about a week is the design choice here on the back. It's got this really cool feeling to it. And I don't know if you can hear that or not. Maybe I'm doing it loud enough. But basically, there's a really cool design. The only thing is that this thing picks up a lot of dust. And if you spill things around it, this thing will have to be cleaned off. So that's the only thing is because there are actual ridges here uh, that actually get seen on the back of the foam. But again, pop this in here just like the TPU case before. Now, technically, Varus is probably screaming at me if they're watching this. Uh, take the edge off. Take the banding off. Do that first. But it works just fine. It covers up a little bit more. Uh, it takes up more of the bezel uh, and covers that. So if you do uh, go this way with it, you're not really worried about it because it's lifting the screen up just a tiny little bit around the outside here. So that should be just fine. And again, you have the rubberized buttons here that you can actually... I don't know if you can hear that or not. Probably not. But it's a good design choice here on the side just because it matches that curve on the back. And it just has a great feel. And this is the reason why I've actually been using this case for the past week or so. And I actually love it. Uh, so that's the Varus case there. And let's take this one out. Hopefully I can do this without shattering glass. I think maybe this time I probably should do the banding first. Usually if I get one corner out, I'm good for the rest. There we go. Okay, so not too bad to get out. Now, let's move on to the eye blazing case. And you'll see here, again, this actually has a screen protector built in. So you just peel back. Peel that back. And you probably just peel this off the edge here. Hopefully the focus isn't too bad for you guys, and I apologize for getting this so close in your face. I'm trying to get this. There we go. So now you've got the actual TPU. Uh, doesn't look like there's too much of a impact resistance like the other cases had, but it's a little bit more heavy-duty case because you've got the extra bumpers to the outside, uh, and you've got the screen protector just as well. So let's pull that out. Let's get rid of that. 
and this is kind of OtterBox-ish in a sense uh, because you're actually taking the phone and they're actually wrapping around the edges. If you can see that there, it's actually wrapping around the edges of the phone to actually hug it a little bit so to stay tight to your phone. And you, if you heard that, there's a small click because now the phone's not going anywhere. So there's that. And now let's see if we can just pop this in there. Should be able to pop this in there fairly easily. Get your edges covered up. And there you go. And that's the case. Uh, again, looks really good, nice and rugged. I kind of like the. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty good, and it actually doesn't cover up the thumb, uh, so that you can actually. And one thing I do hate so far is the fact that for some odd reason my left thumb just does not want to uh, make anything work when I do the unlock. But anyway, uh, it doesn't cover up anything. Obviously, it leaves the camera open, perfect cut holes for that, and you can get in there and unlock whatever it is that you need to do, get into your stuff, and you've got a screen protector on your phone. So your phone is basically pretty much taken care of. So that's really, really good. So let's see. And the case that I actually want to actually finally end up in is the unicorn beetle over there on the right hand side as I get the weather here let's see if I can get this out there we go okay and same thing I'll just do the reverse I should be able to just pop this right off the side there you go okay there's the phone alright now we're gonna do the same thing now this is the unicorn beetle again this actually comes this is from Supcase, actually comes with a belt clip that can be worn long ways, sideways, however you really want to do it, to be honest with you. You can wear it however that you want. So that's the good thing about this case. So let's do the same thing here. Peel that off. And I should be able to do the same thing here. Again, I like the design choice as far as the color. Here, I like the gray in the fact that it's not as heavy as the black is. And I apologize, I'm getting too close to the mic as I'm breathing heavy there. Let's see if I can get this as I go off camera there. Oh, there we go. Just got to find the right corner. Feed it off there. Peel it off. Same thing here. Pull the little styrofoam out. Same thing there, not much for it, but this is a little bit more of a rugged uh, design, uh, so there's not much need for having all that in the back. Same thing here, pull off the back. And to show you the back of these, remember this is the eye blazon, and this is the unicorn beetle. You'll see, actually that's the same exact material, the black uh, cover that they've got there. That's basically the same material that they've got there just to cover up the inside of the foam. And it's basically the same piece of plastic that they're covering. Uh, and you'll see there the thumb uh, being able to keep your thumb open. And it looks like it's the same exact wraparound edges. So we're going to drop the phone in there. Fits perfectly. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did in reverse. And hopefully... I didn't get too much on the screen. If not, I'll just go back and clean it off. I've got some uh, Woosh Tech Genie uh, screen cleaner that I picked up from our local electronics shop. And looks like that corner there goes on. Should ride on just fine. Yep. And you'll see there, just like on the other one, covers it up. And I think this is really honestly a design choice of what colors that you like with your phone. Being the fact that my phone is white, I wanted to show off the fact that it was white, but obviously I'm now covering up, so do as much white as I can. So between the eye blazing, you're basically doing black and white versus gray and white, so that's kind of a design choice if you want to go with either one of these cases. I think both of these cases are great as far as the ruggedness of it, and I think I'll be just sticking with this one as my daily case just because it does come with the belt clip. If you guys have any questions about these cases, I'll be rocking these for the next couple weeks. If you want to uh, get some more details, go check them out on Amazon, uh, Amazon.com, and just search for the Varus case. Uh, you can also search for the Speaking case, uh, for the Eye Blazing case, 
and then as well for the Unicorn Beetle, all for the Note 5. Check them out. Uh, I'm sure they've got great deals. Like I said, it ranges anywhere between $10 on up to $20 depending on which case that you pick up. But go check it out. Guys, thanks for, again for watching. Thanks for hanging around. If you have anything else, leave comments below. Subscribe to the video if you can. You can follow us on all the places. You're probably watching this on YouTube right now, so youtube.com slash TV. If you're on Twitter, you can follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash TV. If you're on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash TV. I know Facebook is a dying thing, but... We're still out there. And for those of you on Google+, Plus, it's gplus.to slash TV. Stay tuned. We've got more videos coming, hopefully down the road. Uh, we may uh, have commandeered some other stuff. Uh, I do have stuff lying around the office, and I say office in a sense of the, the room that I'm standing in for the studio. Uh, I do have a T-Mobile home cell spot that I did pick up. If you guys want to watch a video on that, let me know, and I'll be more than glad to make a video about that. I also upgraded some of the equipment here at the studio. I've got a brand new Aris modem that I picked up um, as well as I actually picked up the Amazon uh, Alexa or whatever it's called. I actually picked, up that up, picked that up when it first got announced for the $100. So if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. Leave comments below. Share, like, subscribe, do whatever you can. Go to our website, txtnation.tv, and stay with us there. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you for the next video.